Hello guys and welcome to a quick tutorial on how to install Script Hook 5. This tutorial is one of my first tutorials I'm doing on the channel at the moment. Uh, this might be a one-off depending on uh, what feedback I get on it. But firstly, uh, just to create a folder uh, on the desktop, just in case you want to go online on GTA at any point, because bearing in mind these mods cannot be played online. Uh, permanently you can't you can't do that unless you want to get it banned and then you can't play it on your account simple as that uh, I've got these mods in here just just you know from uh, what I'm what I was doing previously and what I'm doing in my other GTA videos but back to the tutorial uh, you'll have to go to a site here I'll link it in the description called GTA 5 mods.com this site has got loads of mods which support and are supported by the uh, script hook 5 menu um, you've got loads of these different car models and everything um, and these for the people who and this tutorial is for the people who tutorial this tutorial is for the people who um, don't, are unsure with modding and um, or just don't know how to install it in general um, you can either go on here and look for it on like most downloaded or whatever but um I like to just go up here because it's a lot easier and you can get straight to the point. Just type in script hook 5. Um, don't download any of these ones here. I'm not sure about this. This is the one I use and this is a one what a lot of people use as you can see here. There has been 550,000 downloads. Um, so just click on that. It also gives you a tutorial here, but if you want like a video tutorial, then that's obviously why you're here. Um, so from here, what you want to do is just click download. It'll take this page, don't panic, this is all normal. Um, and from here, it'll say what uh, a bit of information about and whatever. Don't click download SDK, do not click that one. That's for developers, for people who want to develop mods. Um, you want to click on this one above it, uh, just download, and it will come up down here if you're using something like Google Chrome, it will come in a zip file. Uh, what you want to do from there, just pull it over here, I'm going to take it wherever, you just need to grab hold of this, take it to your desktop, and that's it. That's got one, because obviously mine is in the recycle bin right now. Um, after that, you don't need this, you can just close that. So, from here... You want to just take this and move it into your folder, um, just for safekeeping and etc. etc. Once you've done that, you want to go into your script hook five um, folder, and you just want to go to bin. And these are the things you need. You need the din put eight dot dll native trainer dot asi script hook five dot dll. What you want to do is copy. From there you won't need this, so just minimise that just in case you close it by accident or whatever. Uh, go to your Steam account, go to Games, click, right click on Grand Theft Auto 5, go to Properties, and at the top General Updates Local Files. You want to click Browse Local Files. Sorry if this is going a bit fast, I'll let you guys catch up who haven't at the moment. Once you're here, you should see here stuff like GTA 5.exe, GTA 5 Launcher. You might see all this depending on what if you've modded the game previously or whatever, which I doubt you have uh, if you're here. What you want to do then, just paste that in. And if you've done it right, three new items should pop up in here. Dinput, nativetrainer.asi and scripthook5.dll. From there, all you have to do, close that, come down here. Close that. Obviously, you don't need your uh, folder anymore, but that's just a mess for safekeeping. Ever if you want to disable it, just to go online. Then just click play. I'll cut this bit out just because this might take a while to load because of uh, GTA loading screens and everything. So, yep, yeah, give me a second, I'll speed this up. And from here, guys, it's pretty simple to see if you've got the mod working if you press F4. If that doesn't work, just hit num lock. Um, once or twice just to make just to check and uh, to navigate around this menu you use your numpad you use 2, 8, uh, 4 and 6 uh, 
eight to go up, two to go down, four to go left, and six to go right, and five to select. And I'll quickly demonstrate this by going into vehicles, vehicle spawner, using six to move to the right, four to move to the left, and five to spawn a vehicle or select whatever you want to do um, obviously you can navigate around this this might take a bit of getting used to on the first few days maybe but um, you can quickly navigate around it once you get used to all the controls and everything um, so yeah and just go mad <laughs> so guys I hope you enjoyed this tutorial um, leave a like if you did and subscribe for more uh, leave me some feedback on what you think or what you want to know more about. If you want to do, if you want me to do another mod installation video, just say, and I'll do more of them. But in the meantime, check out other my other GTA videos, um, what I've produced. Uh, it, it took a, quite a while, and yeah, it'd be greatly appreciated to get a bit more support on them. So thank you for watching this video, and goodbye. <laughs>